You know, with it being an election year, you know, everybody's all about slogans and mottos and uh, sort of, you know, taglines for their campaigns. And I think, you know, when you look at the Raiders for 2016, their tagline should probably be, not this team, not this year. And I know on the surface that seems kind of negative, but really, for that to actually make sense in context, you have to understand that over the past 13 years, the Raiders have done everything possible to shoot themselves in the foot. Uh, they're kind of, they were kind of like the Cleveland Browns, where they beat themselves en route to getting beat by everybody else. And when I say not this year, not this team, what I mean is the team is finding itself in situations where, you know, six years ago, four years ago, three years ago, two years ago, maybe even last year, that if they were put in the same situation, they probably would have lost the game. But now something's different. There's a different culture for the Raiders. And they're going out there, and they're being put in these really, really tough binds. But they're winning. They're finding ways to surmount the difficulties and rise to the occasion and really snatch victory from the jaws of defeat, which is something the Raiders haven't been able to do since you know, the heyday of Rich Gannon and Jerry Porter. And the perfect example of this is the 28-27 win over Baltimore. Uh, Baltimore, they were previously undefeated. Raiders improved to 3-1 and on the season, and we'll talk more about the implication of that a little bit later on. But you just look at the stats here. I mean, Derek Carr, without getting the touchdowns, he only had 199 yards. Uh, the Raiders' rushers only had 62 yards. Uh, Michael Crabtree only had 88 yards. I mean, those are all pretty decent, but I mean, look at what the Ravens did. Uh, Joe Flacco, 298 yards. Uh, Baltimore's rushing core, uh, Terrence West alone had 113 yards. Steve Smith Sr. had 111 yards and a touchdown. I mean, just look at the stats, and you're using empirical wisdom. You're going to say, okay, well, the Ravens obviously won that game, but they didn't. How did the Raiders do it? And for this game, there are two things come to mind. Uh, number one, Derek Carr is clearly a manual car because this dude is clutch. I mean, he came down there, this guy just engineered his fourth quarter win like he was Dan Marino or something. He goes in there, you know, the Raiders, they're up, what were they? They're up like, what, 21 to something. It's like very, very, very small for uh, the, the Ravens. It is at least a double-digit lead for the Raiders, excuse me, at the moment. But, you know, the Ravens, they come back, they get that quick touchdown, uh, DeAndre Washington fumbles the ball away, and the Ravens score another touchdown. They're up 27-21. Derek Carr comes back on the field. He's like, all right, we'll do it. You know, we're going to go out there, and we're going to get called uh, on a penalty, and we're going to be third and 15, and we're going to convert, and we're going to march down the field. I want to find Michael Crabtree. We're going to hook up 28-27, and that's all it took to win the game. But you see, that alone doesn't explain how the Raiders beat the Ravens. The reason why the Raiders won this game, and in years past they probably wouldn't, is because of the defense. And I know the defense was terrible the first two games. They woke up last week against Tennessee. This is the defensive showing that I want out of the Raiders. They only had two official sacks of Joe Flacco, but they were absolutely terrorizing this dude all day. The Ravens were absolutely horrified to drop back for the pass because they were just sending everybody, Bruce Irvin, Khalil Mack in his first sack of the season, this dude was just put down like five or six times. He was just being hurried all day, and they had to rely on the run. And I think if the Raiders continually put so much pressure on the quarterback, I mean, you just look at Joe Flacco on the sideline during that game. I mean, he looked like he wanted to you know, blow his brains out. I mean, it was a terrible day for him, just getting banged up. If the Raiders can do that, just keep that pressure going, blitz, 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 just go past the offensive line, put the, the quarterback just in absolute peril the entire game, they can win two games. They can go out there and they can steal victories away like they did against Baltimore. And obviously, you got to have the good mix of offense and defense. And this is really, I think, the best game the Raiders have had all season long because you're seeing that mixture. You're seeing you know, their defense coming together. You're seeing the offense coming together. You're seeing Michael Crabtree out there getting three touchdowns in the game. Amari uh, Cooper being the guy who's covered by everybody who gets up the first down. The run game, probably the worst showing of the year, but, you know, still. We saw uh, our good buddy uh, Jalen Richard go out there. Is it Jalen Richard or Richard? Are we doing the French thing? Let's call him Jalen Richard. 
He goes out there and he gets us huge, you know, chunks of chain setting up, you know, the red zone strikes. And the Raiders, they're really good once they get in the red zone. So, yeah, it's a huge, huge win. Being 3-1 and one gives you a certain mentality that you don't have at 2-2. Two and two. And uh, coming up next week, we've got the Chargers at home. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things where I think on paper the Raiders should win this one, but it could be a trap game. I mean, you know, the Chargers, and you know, they had that tough off against um, uh, the New Orleans, and they're looking to rebound. And if the Raiders don't take them seriously, if they don't go in there and you know, make it a complete game and play all four quarters, and that's been sort of the big personality problem that I've seen, is the Raiders do kind of tend to take their foot off the gas. We saw it against Tennessee. Uh, we saw the offense take the foot off the gas against uh, Baltimore. It almost cost them the game. We saw them come roaring back. So as long as the offense stays in it and they don't, you know, just stop playing around the third quarter and the defense plays as well and puts pressure on the quarterback that they did against Joe Flacco, you know, the Raiders, they're going to win a lot of games this year. So, yeah, I'm excited. The Raiders go in there. Like I said, not this team, not this year. They were down. They were out. They come storming back. The defense did what they needed to do. Derek Carley is team downfield. Michael Crabtree making catches. The run game setting up the pass. I'm ecstatic. The Raiders is 3-1. and one. we got the Chargers coming up. A lot of tough divisional games. But you know what? I'm optimistic. You know why? Because it's not this team, not this year.